Thanks for staying with us. So today on the show, we'll be discussing autism. Our focus is how to deal with or handle autism. The treatment of autism using applied behavior analysis. How effective is the method? And the size potency, how affordable and implementable the challenges involved in this process or routine can be. Join us on the show is the Treasurer Association of Behavior Analysis in Nigeria, Tinola Nkechi Olaya. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So we've discussed Thanks. autism a few times on the show, and yeah. we've had so many conversations on this, but mm. how, I guess the, the new part of this conversation is how best to handle it in modern times. What mm. are, there, are there new tools? Are there new techniques? Mm. Are there new methods that mm. parents and families can begin to mm. employ to help their children who are mm. having this condition? Mm. So to, 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 to start on, I would like to, you know, just say, um, you know, do a big shout out to the families out there that are handling, um, you know, that have kids with autism. It's not easy. It's, a, it's very challenging. Mm. The pressures that they go through, the, um, the lack of understanding sometimes, you know, um, that they get from the environment, people around you know, the schools, mm. um, just a whole gamut of it. So I would just like to say, you know, give a shout out to all of the families oh. out there that are dealing with um, exactly. children with autism. Yes, um, having said that, um, our field, you know, uh, applied behavior analysis is, is not kind of, it's a gold standard for the treatment of, and management of autism. Okay. You know, it's new in Nigeria. Well, not, so, not, not completely new, mm. but it is sort of um, new. Um, and it, it's, it, it's, it's the way to go, I would say, you know, because it is a science that deals with behavior. It's a science that deals with why people behave, you know. Uh, I know for the, you know, we use, for us, behavior is something that, will, that we think is, um, is when a child is acting up or when a child is throwing a tantrum. But behavior in our science is actually everything that you do. Everything that you do is behavior talking, sitting. So because autism is a, is, a, is a condition that presents with behavioral deficits, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, you can't detect autism with a medical um, test. Ooh. It is when a child begins to present with certain behaviors. For example, mm -hmm. you have a child who is not giving eye contact to you, they're not responding to name, their hand flapping, you have meltdowns when you have to transition from one thing to the other. Um, from one activity to the other, you know, you're not, there is no social, emotional reciprocity. There's no, you can't share things. The child is always by themselves playing. They're right. okay. And you know, because it's a spectrum, you know, you have kids yeah. that great. are, that have language mm. and you have kids that do not have language at all. You know, so it's a wide spectrum. And the only way you know that a child is autistic is with the behaviors that they present. Mm -hmm. So what else is there to, to treat um, a condition yeah. that has to do with um, deficits in behavior than a science that is about behavior. That's Why mean. do people behave? And more so, applied behavior analysis is about increasing socially significant behaviors. Now, when you say a behavior is socially significant, what are you talking about? A behavior that will help the child be included in learning, in learning environment, in a social environment with the family, with their peers, you know. Uh, uh, so... It's, it, it, those are the behaviors that we yeah, look at. Yeah. Behaviors that are important to the child. Exactly. Getting it, yes. being independent, yeah. and that are important to the family, and yes, of course, okay. being integrated in society. So, okay, so someone yeah. um, listening now, uh -huh. uh, my question is, um, so is there a school for this, or is this something that a parent has to learn? Mm -hmm. Is this something you can go online and learn? And um, the normal question, is it something that would involve me maybe spending a lot of money? which a lot of Nigerians will tell you we, we don't have. I know. And is it curable? I know. I know, <laughs> yeah, autism is not, um, you know, it's, it, it's, 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 it's something that you manage. You teach a child, because, because the child presents with behaviors that show a deficit. If a child, for example, can, does not know how to give eye contact, yes, I will respond to their name. And I teach the child how to give eye contact and respond to their name. You will say I've treated the problem, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that is what applied behavior analysis does. You know, we pick on behavior, we pick on deficits, and then we set up, it's about setting up environmental contingencies because we believe, you know, in layman's terms, that what happens in the environment affects, you know, dictates how a person behaves, not just children, everyone behaves. And what happens in the environment before and after the behavior contributes to shaping 
or what the person would do in future, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of um, because of what has happened or the consequences for what they've done. You know, so to answer your question, is it um, parents can, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a specialty, you know. It's, it's, you have to, there's a training to, to being able to do the science, yes. Um, so, and it's accessible. Um, affordable it can be, you know, it can be um, depending on how the program is, is run. You know, for instance, if parents can, if schools really, you know, because I say if, if schools can be open and um, have, you know, and have teachers get this training, you know, and have, and be open for people to come in, you know, to... to so specialists. Um, to, yes, specialists to come in. You know, you, you can have parents sometimes pair together. Mm -hmm. You understand? And per perhaps share... Um, experiences. Um, yes, share experiences. No, just share a therapy. Okay. As it were, because it can either be individual or group therapy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily okay. have to be. Individual. So, can they go to normal schools? Of, of course, children can go to normal schools. What we say is that a child should get educated in the least restrictive environment. That is what we owe to the child. That is what inclusion is about. You know, so the schools need to provide the space for, for, for the deficits that the child has to be addressed within the school environment. It is only when a child shows um, behaviors that would impede on their own learning and the learning of other children, that you can now consider less restrictive environments. Otherwise, a child should access education in the least restrictive environment. So Sorry, more restrictive environments, you I talk want to say. About when you um, said behavioral deficit, I kept uh -huh. thinking, uh -huh. what we consider behavioral deficit here is uh -huh. just that the child is not easily conditioned by the caregivers or uh, uh, teachers mm. who was a school. So a child that knows to resume so, so, so time, when teacher says sit, is well behaved and all yeah. of that, is calm and all mm -hmm. of that, that's a, a child who doesn't have behavioral deficit. Or a child, every child are, with their differences, some are energetic, some are hyperactive, some are, you know, where, what exactly would qualify a child to, be, to have behavioral deficit? Is it the differences in their nature? Or mm, is, that, is that an extreme difference that you, know, that you can tell? Um, sometimes, I get what you're saying, like, okay, um, but with autistic children, it's different. You know, it's a neurodevelopmental disorder, mm -hmm. so they're processing things differently than we, mm -hmm. we, we do, you know? So um, when you look at it as that, um, so you need, to, you need to look at the, the areas of their challenges. For example, they have difficulties with communication. They have difficulties with joint attention. They have difficulties with social, emotional reciprocity. Some of, you know, some of them are non-vocal verbal. That is, they do not use language to communicate. So you need to teach them verbal behavior, how to communicate with people without words. Um, so you, because if, if we don't deal with all of that, then you begin to get um, aggressive behavior. Because if a child cannot tell you, for example, I'm hungry, yeah. or I need this, or please stop it, you know, or no, do you get what I mean? Or say, no, don't do that to me then they become oh. aggressive. And if when they get aggressive, mm. they get the result that they want, then they will become mm. aggressive more, isn't mm. it? Mm -hmm. Because that will now become their mode of communication. Okay. Yes. Like I hope I answered your question like and somebody. I didn't go off. Yeah, yeah no, you did. I did, yeah. thank you. All right, so, I mean, I mean obviously I said autism is something, is a condition that we all, we all know and we've heard about. But um, a parent is watching you right now, trying to say, okay, what are the uh, solutions? A, a school proprietor is watching you also saying, okay, mm. what can I do? I want to have an inclusive school, but I'm also have the bur I also have the burden of Dealing with, can I handle all types of disorders? Can I handle mm. children mm. with, you know, there are different, mm. different mm. conditions True. for children. So True. the proprietor is thinking, if I'm, they have that constant pressure mm. of training my teachers to handle all various mm. conditions mm. and still, mm. still mm. how does that happen? Mm. How do you help a proprietor in this situation mm. to understand the need to have mm. this um, training for the teachers? All right, so what I would, when I talk about training for teachers, I'm not saying that we train teachers so they now begin to deal with um, therapy. You know, I'm talking of training for teachers because I think that learning should be at a particular benchmark. You know, so when you have, a diff when you have different children, in your, and I'm talking about typically functioning kids at this point, you know, in your classroom, they have different learning styles. They have different personalities. As a teacher, you should be able to reach every child with what you're teaching. Mm -hmm. And this science helps you do that mm -hmm. because it is about um, shaping behavior. And behavior, let's not forget, is everything that we do. Yes. So learning is a behavior, you know. Getting compliance in your classroom is a behavior. Um, getting um, 
proper student outcome, you know, all of that are different behaviors that kids have. So to go to your question, um, so we have an association, the Association of Applied Behavior Analysis in Nigeria, where you will find all the certified, that is all of the qualified people in this, um, in this profession. Mm. So I would, I would, I would encourage um, school proprietresses and proprietors to mm. visit this, um, to, we're online, you know, to visit us yeah. and yes, we're open to collaborations, to coming in and seeing, to setting oh, up, training. yes, trainings, to setting up environments in your school where you can help reach a lot more. Right. Yes, right. a lot Thank more. Thank you so much, um, Madam, for joining us on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank we're going to go on a break. When we come back, we move on to another health topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.